What's going on, guys? Lost coming back, playing some more. The Forgotten City. Um, we made it finding Navia, and she was trying to help out her little statue friend that we ended up turning the gold. And I guess she's staying there to figure out whatever it is. And now we're on a whole nother deal of quest. So we were able to unlock uh, that chest there, which looked like it gave us the stuff to give to hmm, a golden bowl. Her, so. Apollo and Diana. Feeling all right? You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? We yeah. are back. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Alrighty then. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Right. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Yulia. I need to talk to her and say. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. Hmm. The Golden Rule. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Huh. Please, just leave me alone. Maliolus and Claudia, it. and everybody says they're voting for him. Hmm. Oh, persistent as Nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. All right. Yeah. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out, I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. I had to sign an agreement saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia, and she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Hemlock. Mm. It's a deadly poison made yeah. from a plant. Drink this she said and you'll be out of here in no time of course i demanded my money back but she refused she pointed to a sign on her tavern saying let the buyer beware then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she she laughed she immediately told maliolus i'd tried to escape without paying him back only he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In fact, he just thanked her. 
And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't make sense that's what why I, I would. said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years and there was nothing he could do. I thought about resisting too, but Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths, so he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest, humiliating outfits while I worked day in day out. His wife Claudia was just as bad. She sent me to work on an endless stream of futile, demeaning tasks. I'd be on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor clean for hours, only for her to pour slop on it and hiss, you missed a spot. Those two took everything from me. <sighs> But they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. I just wanted it to be over. But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. I brought it on myself. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa, hmm. and I'll be right back where I started. That's something Only we gotta talk to. Time. I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me, for trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Uh. A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last night. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus' villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Oh, that stopped him from killing himself. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. I don't know who you are. Or why you seem so determined to help me, but thank you. All right, so I gotta get all the way up there. Wait, why am I going to jump? Why? 
Whoa. Is there something down there right now? I was supposed to have stopped him from jumping. Is that him, I guess? Just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above. That was either extremely reckless or oh. impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? My name is Marcus Maliolis Gurgis. You seem to have confused mm. me with someone else. You 
You mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. Interesting. Nothing down here. Basically, figure out how to stop here. Right? from killing himself. I need him. I'll need him alive if I want to learn what he knows. Oh, so. I'm not supposed to be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. Intriguing proposition. Go on. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. 
Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I yeah. confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But f The many shall suffer for the what? sins of the one. Oh god. Can I beat these guys or no? No, I can't. That sucks. What do you mean? <sighs> Great. Somebody sinned. And I don't know who it was. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You... you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Hmm. That's dumb. Why would you... Figure this part out.
citizens. We have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus huh. Gerges. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Maliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. And finally, Domitius. Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <laughs> That's more like it. Thank you. Thank hmm. you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence? To fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed for what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. No. Uh oh. The many shall suffer. Has to go. Of the one. No. Come on, man. Alright. So, that's what happens there. Interesting. I gotta figure out how to stop all that. So pretty much, I don't need to go talk to him at all. Because I guess, going to talk to him will more than likely have the election happen that way. So, I've got to... Ah, oh, come on, dude. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening.
Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. All right. It's been, what, I gotta go all the way up there to stop him. Friend. I don't want to talk to you. Get out of my way. Life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever. I can't believe this is how it ends. No. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want... <sighs> Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. Well, I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Well, let me talk. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love, I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! I... I can't uh. believe he went through with it. I... Now I gotta go back and do this all over again. That poor lamb. Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the Golden Rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. That was not your fault. There's no way you could have given him what he wanted, moments after you arrived. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Okay. Great temple's locked. I sleep with it. Yeah, figure out this out. Hmm.
think that matters. Interesting. the world here. Please leave. Interesting. I can't leave. I got myself trapped in here, didn't I? Or no. Please leave. You're trespassing. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> That'd probably be later on, huh?
I don't reckon anything else was in here. Vote for Maliolus for a free drink at my tavern. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. Hmm. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. on a bit strong, don't you think? <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? Let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Certainly. For ten denarii. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair, until one day she just... snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now, she just stands around, caked in filth, muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Oh. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate, with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. There used to be a midwife here, Naivia, but this place drove her mad as a menad said she could hear the statues whispering to her. Can you imagine? Fortunately for us, she locked herself in the palace weeks ago and hasn't been seen since. Good riddance, I say. Interesting. Whatever you like. I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Interesting. All right, see ya. I love your clothes, so Exotic. You stay away from my money. Hmm. Can't do that right now, now can we? We do do it though. Let's see. If we do do it, we have to run out. Handsome. Unless Cerberus lifts his drivel head. And lets out his three full I'm going straight up there. 
Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, Imitating their previous lives. Mm. Yeah, let's go with it. The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. They never do. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Interesting. test. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns.
Oh. Got it. So Rufius, and he's the one that needs the medicine. The forty nine melodies fetch again with incessant labor the water they have lost. No idea what you're talking about. <sighs> yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. so angry if he wasn't so... you know. It makes me... uncomfortable. I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. I have nothing to say to you, Kaput Magda. I have nothing to say to you, Kaput Magda. Alrighty then. Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. 
Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you. Older, I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. Good. Thank you. But please be careful. I do did. don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. You have? Then what is it? Yes, I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Hmm. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running, of course. Well, you're not a citizen yet, so no, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, oh, that's not what unless I they're running, of course. Hmm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote, Vestal priestesses like myself, but in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent, but if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Mm. Certainly. Come 
come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Probably gonna have to reset everything with this guy. Nothing to say to you, Kaput Magda. Yep. Isn't the great temple majestic? Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment, it being election day. The name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. <laughs> when Maliolus wins the election, yeah, this place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. I think it's gone on long enough, and Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own door, how can we trust him to protect us? Hmm. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. Alrighty then, so... Are they? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? We have? Wait. If I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule 
forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume, we failed. And you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Ah, I see. Look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Of course, what is it? Why do you say that? What? That's... I... I'm speechless. How do you know? Of course, this isn't your first loop, is it? Well then, you must stop him from winning the election. I expect you'll need some kind of leverage on him, but I can't be seen to be involved in this, of course, so you'll be on your own. You'd better not waste any time, and may Swada, goddess of persuasion, go with you. Good, thank you. Greetings and salutations. Greetings, I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well, ask me what you will. That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Malone. I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Hmm. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Nice to talk to you. Hmm. How'd you do? Hello there, friend. May I say, that is a glorious bow you're carrying. Do you mind if I ask where you acquired it? Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if you have any use for it down here. Oh well, let me know if you change your mind. But for now, can I help you with something? Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? <laughs> Not going to happen. Hmm. Very well. Well. Shining. 
That means, I guess... I'm not supposed to be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. Well, I mean, what else would happen? I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you well, is that he got means the freedom yeah. for men. After all I've done for him, counselling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry, and if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa, because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. So you'll help me? Thank you. Here's the letter. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. What? 
He's... Oh, no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. What? No. You... You trick me, you mendacious little Sturkus. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. Well, do I need to call Demetrius? Get out. this real quick. See what happens. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? I... Uh, so... It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? Uh, are you going to kill me? Oh, so much work and money. Oh, what well, if I do it? You would let me live? Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath huh. me anyway. I'll have Demetrius notify the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. There, you got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. Tracks be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. As you wish, sir. Okay. But I still haven't saved the one guy.
Gotta be way up there. Unless you can fall off the thing. Alright. Well, I don't know. I have nothing to say to you, Kaput Magda. Alright. So it looks like I'm going to have to pretty much reset everything to for him. Well. So I figured out how to get the blackmail I needed. And then go from there. So. I reckon that's going to be it for tonight. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Ah. <laughs> Good one. But seriously, how did you know? Uh, that's a shame. Now everybody's gonna think I'm some kind of oracle for knowing the future before it happens, and I have no way of explaining it. Hey, maybe the patricians will start treating me with a bit more respect. But then again, probably not. Alright, I'll leave you to it, friend. Uh -huh. I saw you slide down that rope before. Very impressive. And... Strange, too, since that device you used is exactly the same as one I've been working on for weeks. There I was, thinking I'd invented it. Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me a favor? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower for me? Oh, thank you. It All right. me a lot. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. All right. We'll do that later. All right. I think that's going to be uh, it for this one. And then we'll figure out how to stop dude from jumping. And... Because we got the letter and everything to always do that. 
and then just go from there. So, but that won't be too bad. So, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and uh, peace.